And there are many questions and concerns about the new legalization of sports betting in West Virginia. Tonight, Concord student athletes had the chance to hear from someone whose life was severely affected by gambling. Sports director Matt Digby has more from Mercer County. Concord student athletes had the chance Thursday night to hear about the potential for gambling addiction from Lisa Densmore, a one-time Division I field hockey athlete who fought that addiction for many years and is now warning student athletes of the dangers of becoming an addict. One is to try to discuss with them the sports integrity issues that may go around um, and the warning signs for um, student athletes actually developing problems with um, gambling. They are high risk population for developing a gambling problem and many of them don't know that. I latched onto it and treated it like a game of um, skill rather than a game of chance that it is. I didn't realize it was affecting my brain. And with the recent legalization of sports betting in West Virginia, there is still a lot of new information to absorb, but coaches and student athletes say it's always a positive to learn that information as early as possible. It's just one, another hurdle, you know, another landmine you could step on, and uh, before you know it, it could be somewhere you don't need to be. So they need to, you know, be informed uh, before the issue. And anytime you do that, it's it's just. Uh, you know, being very proactive. When you add something new, especially with a student athlete schedule, it's already so hectic. When you add something new, it's hard to remember. So uh, you just got to stay on top of it. Just hearing how she overcame it and being able to apply it to my life will be a great experience. Densmore says her 10 years of speaking to students has translated into a rewarding experience as she remains committed to spreading as much information as possible. I get emails like that quite often from from somebody that I spoke in front of that I don't even know. So I know it makes a difference. I think it's tough with this population sometimes because I don't think anybody ever believes addiction is going to happen to them. I certainly didn't think it was going to happen to me. In Athens, I'm Matt Digby, Newswatch Sports.